But uh, MS Dhoni now running out of bowling options. That's the problem for him. So Yuvraj hasn't had a bowl yet tonight. But he has got a bit of a golden arm. He has got wickets at crucial times in the past in a one-day game. So MS Dhoni will be hoping that he can work his magic again. Just a single. 17 needed now. In fact, 16 with that single. Harbhajan has finished his spell. 10 overs, 1 for 31. Good sensible stuff. South Africa are working hard on Wayne Parnell, particularly on his batting, to try and develop him as an all-rounder. Don't have the luxury anymore of a Lance Kuzner or a Sean Pollock. So they need somebody to come in at number eight and fulfill a dual function. Wide will be signaled. Quicker delivery, not a bad take down the leg side, but it touch anything on the way through, that's the question. <laughs> Chance of a run out. They take off the bails, I don't think uh, Yuvraj is too keen, or did he have the ball in his hand? It's pretty quick to sign. Slow is a little bit throw is a little bit slow to come in. There's no direct hit. He's gone. He's gone. In fact, the ball was uh, not firmly in Yuvraj's hand, but he's got enough uh, over here to make sure that the ball touches the stumps. And this is a lucky break for India. He's well short of his ground. And number eight goes down. Uh, and this match uh, still could be anybody's game. 14 needed, South Africa 8 down. An unnecessary run out. Stain has to depart for 6. It's 177 for 8. Has been entrusted by the skipper. changes because there's two left-handers at the crease you rushing was bowling before but with the two left-handers there MS Dhoni preferring the off spin of Suresh Raina he's a part-time spinner but he's done this sort of stuff quite a lot he's played this role a lot for his captain he gets a bit of turn too oh! he'll just be having a few problems with a bit of juice perhaps I'm not sure he keeps wiping his hands on his trousers does uh, Reiner He's pushing him through bowling him pretty quickly now that's one of the non-strikers in the heart attack as well floating that one up a fraction will just be the one that shot through for a single so Muna Patel has got overs left, Nero has got overs left, Zaya Khan has got overs left. But MS Dhoni deciding to go for the part-time spin. Slip in position now, so that's a good call. Oh, there's that uh, delayed action that uh, Reiner employs from time to time, just a bit of a pause in the action. One from the over so far. It's got that away back on a square. Is it going to go the way to four? I think it is. Borne Morkel has picked up a very, very important boundary. That certainly has released some pressure for South Africa. 184 for eight now. 
So five runs from that previous over from Reiner. That's what can happen, of course, when you're a part-timer. You do a job for five deliveries. And then suddenly one just a little bit wide there gets put away by the tail end of the four. Well, he gets it all be out there. No! And in turn, what Parnell, I think, has got to do is make sure that he absorbs this pressure. He it's just near as the one that's got a little bit of tap again. Every single run is being cheered. He wants to try and come back for the second, decides against correctly. This is the telling over. South Africa get through this one. They've got a very good chance of winning it. Down the third man. Loud cheer again from the capacity crowd of the Wanderers. High percentage of them on their feet, such as the nervous tension. Just the one catcher. First slip in position. There is a short mid wicket, but second slip. It's a good idea against the left hander. Another single. Just a boundary away now. No sweeper on the offside. Two balls left in Zahir Khan's ninth over. It's walk on strike. Concentration. That's a good idea. One I walk or sometimes vulnerable against short pitch bowling. Doesn't play the pull shot that well, so it was well worth a go. Once one, straight to the third order, but sent back by Parnell. A loud yelp from the non-striker, 187 for 8. So a look back at the match summary, India winning the toss and electing the bat first, which did surprise a couple, all out for 190 after losing their last six for just 21 runs. So Tsobi sensational picking up four, and in reply, South Africa, 187 for 8. It's just four runs, that's all they need. Plenty of overs to go, but only two wickets in hand. The flags are flying, most of them, as you'd expect at this ground. Our South African flags. They are trying to steer the boys home, and it's Munaf Patel who's back into the attack now. He's done a good job tonight, picked up two for 27. Yeah. Inside edge onto the pad, I think, end result is a single. Really has surprised a lot of people. another wicket, Munaf Patel has picked up a wicket, he's back into the attack. Goodness me, the Indians are celebrating the middle now, that is nine down, there's still three runs needed for victory. Tsutsobi is the last man who's going to come out, that is a huge wicket. Moramoko looking to finish it in one hit, but he couldn't get over the top of it, the drive easy shot, but that wasn't full enough. So the breakthrough comes, the drama continues. Morno Morkel has gone for six, 188 for nine. Three to win, plenty of balls. A tie is a tie, of course. There's no super over, there's no replays. India will be desperate to pick up a quick wicket now. They want to wrap this up. We have got pressure galore. There is tension on the faces. One up Patel to Satsubi. On the front foot, middle of the bat. Big cheer of the Wanderers. Terrific catch as well, and this is why he's there. Morno Morkel trying to get the boundary but not getting over the top of it. It wasn't full enough for the drive. Perfectly for India. Has he got one? Yes, he has. He's off the mark with the single to Torby. If there was a roof for the Wanderers, it would have just come off. Brings Parnell back on strike. That's the important thing from Tsutsori's point of view. Zaya Khan wants a crack at Tsutsori. He's got one over left. Last ball, the over from Patel. Goodness me! Wow, this is extraordinary. That is it. It is sensational stuff here at the Wanderers. Parnell cannot believe what's happened. The celebrations have begun for India. 
I can imagine that all around the cricketing world people are out of their chairs. This has been an extraordinary, an extraordinary game here at the Wanderers. Brilliant stuff from India. They win by one run. What a moment. Wayne Parnell is absolutely devastated. He thought he got that through, but he didn't. Went straight to gully and a terrific catch. Yuvraj Singh. South Africa devastated. They should have won this game. They bowled well. They fielded well. They had it in their grasp. Wow, South Africa lost their last six wickets for 37 runs. Parnell will be absolutely devastated. This has gone down to the absolute wire. Patel sensational, ending up with four for 29, and here's a look at what happened to finish the game. Sharp catch by Yuvraj Singh. Disappointment for Wayne Parnell. A yard left or right of Yuvraj Singh, and it was through. He's delighted, and why shouldn't he be? A terrific fight back from India, and this series is alive. They have done it again, India. Look at the eyes of Yuvraj Singh. They've done it again, fought back after the first test. They have now fought back. After the first one day, Parnell goes for a dozen, and South Africa all out for 189. They level the series. It's one all at the moment. And we have got three games to play. This is sensational cricket.